Hello, welcome to class. My name is Hannah Weaver, my pronouns are she, her, and this is a seated, guided freestyle class focused on sensual embodiment. We're gonna get a little bit sexy today. Sensual movement has really helped me reclaim my own sensuality, and it's led to me feeling really connected to my body. And I've found that that feeling translates into so many areas of my life, and it's become really powerful for me. So I am excited to share this with you, and I hope that this class can foster, foster all of those good benefits for you too. Uh, we're not going to focus so much today on how we look. We're going to mainly focus on f moving in a way that feels good. So I invite you to let go of your inhibitions, get a little spicy, have some fun, and give yourself permission to enjoy class. Our sensual and sexual energies are actually really powerful and creative. So take this chance to create a new type of connection with yourself or to create a reestablishment of that connection that you may already have. So if you haven't already, maybe dim the lights a little bit, set the mood, maybe light a candle, put on something that you feel really good in, wear something you feel really good in, and just make this next 20 minutes about you. Make it a, a nice solid amount of you time. <laughs> Uh, class is going to be kind of broken up into a few different sections. I'm going to lead you through the whole way. You can use my movement as a jumping off point, but I, I want you to feel empowered to move in a way that feels good to you and to remember that there are no wrong answers in this class. The only goal today is to get a little bit sexy or a lot of bit sexy, whatever works for you. <laughs> so we're going to take a moment to just be with ourselves. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Now is the time to kind of focus on your breathing and to get ready for the few moments ahead of us. When it feels right, put a hand on your heart and a hand low on your abdomen. And if these words feel good for you, Feel free to repeat them silently or out loud, and then take a big deep breath after each phrase. I welcome and embrace my sensuality without judgment or criticism. I welcome and embrace my sensuality without judgment or criticism. One more time. I welcome and embrace my sensuality without judgment or criticism. Good. Just sway in your chair for a little bit. Focus on moving in a way that feels good, a way that feels luxurious, a way that feels sexy and spicy. We're gonna start with our head and our neck, and I just want you to move. And I want you to focus and notice how that feels, and make sure that in your noticing to make adjustments if it doesn't feel good and adjust toward moving in a way that feels good. And now, as we continue moving in this area of our body, our head and our neck, you're welcome to include other, other areas of you. <laughs> but 
As we move with our neck and our head in mind, I want you to let go of the thoughts that keep you from embracing your sensuality, whatever that might be. It might be feelings that come up that tell you you're not good enough or you don't look right or all of these things. Let go of those. That's all nonsense. So clear your mind of those and let go of what you think this kind of movement should look like and focus on what feels good. I find when I close my eyes, I can really tap in to noticing how that feels and I can help my thoughts clear. So if closing your eyes feels right for you, please do. We're gonna stay here for just a few more moments. All right, let's move into moving with our shoulders, our arms, our hands. And with that may come your hips and your core, and that's okay too. I found that loving touch from myself has really helped heal a lot of shame in my life. And this has like got all kinds of like neurological benefits <laughs> too. So it's nice to know it's a multifaceted action. And remember, this class is for you, so you don't have to worry about what looks sexy. Just worry about what feels sexy. <laughs> Now, keeping with these, with your head, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your heart space, I want you to release the burden of other people's expectations of your sensual expression, like media or people from your past or just accidental messaging that got in somehow, I want you to just release that burden. Release it, let it go. And open your heart to connecting with yourself purely for your own enjoyment, not for anyone else's. There's no wrong answer. Just move in a way that feels good. Now, move into moving through your core, your midsection. And this is where it really starts to get spicy. 
And just notice what feels good. You may want to adjust your stance. And remember, you can keep the rest of you included as well. Notice what feels good. And if you're noticing thoughts come in and try to throw you off your groove, just let them go. Because remember, it's not about how we look, it's about how we feel. Now, while we're still in this core space, I want you to take some steps, maybe in your thoughts, maybe in your movement, whatever, whatever will work with you for you to tap in to your truest self, that self that you keep protected. Maybe sometimes you feel like if you're your real self, think people think you're weird. That's nonsense. <laughs> Tap in to your true self and move in acknowledgement of that person. Now, in a few moments, we're gonna move to our sort of our hips, our butt, our legs. And I'm gonna turn my chair around and sit in it backwards, basically. And if that feels right for you, you should go for it. And if you'd like to stay here, please do. Now, get a little sexy, get a little burlesque <laughs> and move with your hips and your butt in mind. And I want you to move in a way that feels good. And you can incorporate your legs. <laughs> Of course, your upper body, your head, your neck, your shoulders. And if you're if you have a nice secure seat, you can lean back a little and make some more space for your hips. And you can also use your chair for support if you want to stand and move like this. And remember, do what feels right. If you're seated in your chair facing forward, just bring your attention to your hips and your butt and move in a way that feels good to you. Make this class work for you. Mm. 
now. While we're here for a little while longer, I want you to revel in your inherent creativity, in your own embodied sensuality. Cultivating this kind of energy in your life is really powerful. And it's powerful and it's creative. So as you move for just a little while longer, I want you to focus on what kind of things or experiences or moments you want to create in your life and just sort of channel this powerful energy in that direction. We're gonna take through the end of the song, which is about another minute or so. And I just want you to take stock of everything I've talked about, all of those prompts, and maybe go back to what stood out to you the most. Was it letting go of the thoughts that keep you from embracing your sensual expression? Maybe it was in your shoulders and you needed to release the burden of everyone else's expectations. Maybe you needed to spend a little more time opening your heart to this kind of connection with yourself and remembering that it's for your enjoyment first before it's for anyone else's. Maybe you want to spend a little more time tapping into your truest self in these last few moments. And maybe you just want to revel in your own inherent creativity and you want to channel this energy out towards the rest of your life, all the different corners of the map of your life. If you've turned your chair around, now's a good time to switch it back and you can sit while we wind down and take these last few moments together. Let's sway together from side to side. Moving like a S shape in your spine. Let's take our legs out nice and wide. Make sure your chair is not gonna slide too far behind you. Sit up on the very edge of it if you can. And we're just gonna sort of swoop like we did earlier. And I want you really to round your back out and revel in that stretch. One more. Good, sit comfortably in your chair. You can close your eyes if you'd like. I have one more affirmation for us before I send you on your way. Close your eyes if you'd like, and when you're ready, place a hand on your heart and a hand low on your abdomen. And repeat these words silently or out loud if they feel good to you. And make sure you take a big deep breath after each, each phrase. 
I prioritize and take pleasure in the fullest expression of myself. I prioritize and take pleasure in becoming the fullest expression of myself. I prioritize and I take pleasure in becoming the fullest expression of myself. I hope you enjoyed class today. I hope you got to let your metaphorical hair down and enjoy yourself and feel a little spicy. I hope this energy stays with you and it carries into your life so you can go and be the best, most badass version of yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I'm always honored when people choose to let me be a part of their day. I would love to hear from you. I'm excited about creating a little bit more of this sort of like sensual embodiment practice. Um, I want to create more of a space for that here on Join. And if that is something that would be powerful in your life, please reach out to me at Hannah Has Big Dreams. Please let me know if it's something that you would like to continue seeing more of. Until next time, goodbye.